Now we are getting ready to hear from Dean Heller, uh, who uh, also will be uh, conceding. We just heard from Stephen Horsford uh, in his uh, victory speech, really, as he had dominating numbers over Crescent Hardy. Let's listen in. That I've had uh, for the last 30 years. I uh, started this uh, when I was uh, 29 years old, and uh, my wife has been at my side the whole time as we have worked and, and gone down this path. From the time I served in the state legislature, uh, when I was Secretary of State, and the changes we made in that office, getting elected to Congress, Nevada helped me all through this process. And then we got elected, of course. I want to thank the governor for appointing me to the United States Senate. We got reelected, and uh, I think we really did some good things. And uh, I did something, I did something today that I haven't done in, in nine other races, and that is I called my opponent and called up Jackie Rosen and congratulated her on a great race. Congratulated on what she did, what her party was able to achieve, not just in my race, but all the way down that ballot. And we've hit, we've hit a couple of blue waves for a couple of cycles. And uh, as a party, we're going to have to uh, come back together and decide how we're going to, uh, to go forward in the future. But my hat's off. Yeah. My hat's off for what they have been able to achieve, the hard work that they put into it. But I'll tell you, my team was no different. My team was no different. They worked hard for the last two years. I've never seen anything like it. And I will tell you, I will tell you, I walked in here. I walked in here a few hours ago and thought that uh, I would uh, be addressing you as a, as a, as a continued uh, United States Senator here for the state of Nevada. But I will tell you, I just want to thank the people from Nevada, of Nevada, for all the help and support that they've given me over the years. It has been an honor, an honor to serve Nevada in the United States Senate. But most importantly, I want to thank my family that's up here with me today. I want to thank them for coming with me. Some of them were born, literally born, while I was in public office and have seen nothing but me in public office. And uh, that transition will be easy. It will be easy because they will be by my side. But I want to thank all the volunteers. I want to thank all the volunteers who worked hard. Uh, the hard work that they put into it. Uh, they were there every minute. I knew I could count on them, and I knew. I knew that if we worked hard enough, we'd be successful. Well, we weren't. We weren't, and I, I take the blame. I take the blame for that, because I know that perhaps there are more things that I could have done. But I'll tell you what I'm glad that I have done. Serving in the United States Senate, a couple of major achievements. First and foremost was this tax reform bill that we passed back in December wasn't done single-handedly. I understand that, and we couldn't have done it without President Trump. But I'll tell you, that was a generational change, a generational change for Nevada, for the people of Nevada, and for the people of America. But number two, number two, to change the Supreme Court, to move the Supreme Court to the right, that also, that also was a generational achievement, and I was pleased and proud to be part of that. Those are good achievements, big achievements. And I was part, and I was part of the United States Senate when that happened. Now, I wasn't sure what you could achieve above and beyond a generational tax reform or a generational movement in the Supreme Court. But I sure, certainly was uh, planning on going back and trying and keeping this economy strong and making sure that uh, we had infrastructure and make sure that I-11 occurred between Las Vegas and, uh, and Phoenix. Those were big tasks that were in front of us, but I am sure, I am sure, that Jackie Rosen will be able to fill those shoes and, and serve the state of Nevada and care about Nevada as much as I did. So to her, congratulations, the best of luck. She's my senator, and if there's anything that I can do to help her in this transition, myself and my staff are willing to do so. But to all of you, to all of you out there that have uh, supported me for the last, uh, for the last uh, 30 years in public office, thank you. It has been a joy. It has been an honor to serve the state of Nevada.